Hi, this is Andrew from DPS TV, and I'm joined by Karina. Today, we're going to be talking about the NetGuardian 216F, a hardened RTU with LAN and Gigi Fiber support. The 216F is a spin off from our NetGuardian 216T. Where the 216T had a T1 interface, the 216F has a fiber interface. Just remember, F for fiber. In addition to alarm monitoring, the NetGuardian 216F has all the other tools you'll need to manage your remote sites. This includes a 7 port, 10, 100, 1000 base T Ethernet switch, plus paging, email, and terminal server capabilities. But even with all these extra benefits, the 216F doesn't skimp on core monitoring functionality. You get 16 discrete alarm inputs, 8 analog inputs, that's 4 general purpose, 2 battery, 1 internal temperature, and 1 external temperature on a 7 foot probe, 32 ping targets, and 2 control relays. This NetGuardian is easy to install, and for provisioning you've got three options. The built-in web interface, a Windows utility program called Edit 216F, and the menu-style TTY interface. The included web interface makes it easy to provision and monitor your NetGuardian 216F. You can set up alarms, view current alarm status, issue controls, and configure paging information. Here on the front panel, we have status LEDs on the left, and on the right we have a DB9 craft port used for initial unit configuration. Now let's look at the back panel of the unit. This is really where the action is. First, you have an electrical grounding lug to help reduce electromagnetic interference. Then you have the power inputs. On this build option, I have dual negative 48 volt DC power inputs, but there are many other build options to choose from. You can get plus 24, an AC wall transformer, and you have the option of choosing one or two inputs. These are the fuses for the power inputs, and next to them you have the two temperature sensors. There's the internal temperature sensor and the port for connecting the external temperature sensor on the 7-foot lead. This simple 4-pin connector supplements this amphenol. Between these two connectors, you'll connect all of your discrete alarm inputs, analog inputs, and control relay outputs. This is the terminal server port that Karina talked about, and you'll use this to remotely access a piece of serial equipment without driving to the site. These are the two SFP connectors for the fiber interface. Finally, we have the 10-100-1000 Ethernet switch where you can plug in seven LAN devices. This RTU can report alarms via SNMP v1, v2c, and even SNMP v3. You can also have pager and email notifications sent directly from the unit. The 216F is tested compatible with fiber equipment from most manufacturers, including Pairgain, Siemens, and Nortel. If you want to make sure your fiber equipment is compatible, give DPS a call. So that's an inside look at the NetGuardian 216F from DPS Telecom. For DPS TV, this is Karina and Andrew signing off.